Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu CRM into your Shopify store in 2024. Of course, integrating Zuhu CRM with your Shopify store will allow you to sync your customer data, manage orders efficiently, and also streamline your sales processes. So today, we'll walk you through the steps to set up this connection seamlessly. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end, so you have full experience. So first, you'll need to go and open a browser. Here I'm, go I'm going to use like Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, just go to the CRL section, make sure to go to zuhu.com, and hit the enter button, and open a new tab, and of course you would like to go to shopify.com. Make sure that you have accounts in both. If you don't have an account, simply just go and click on sign up to create an account. Of course, you can use uh, uh, some accounts like Google, LinkedIn, Microsoft, and a lot of other options for Zoo to create or even log in into your account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of doing so. For me here, once I'm there, just go and click on CRM, and I'll be taken to this page. I'll just go here and click on the thing here on Access CRM. Let's just wait for the page to load of course in the meantime i'll just go here to shopify i'll have to do the same click here on login to login into an account as you can see i'm already logged in so i'll just go and choose that of course for uh, shopify it will be the same you can simply just log in or create an account using a google account if you don't want to get through all the more steps of creating or even logging in into your, into your account as you can see here my free trial ended so i'll just go here to all stores and create a new store if you are on the free plan you will be able to create a store uh, as you can see unlimited stores for free and uh, once you create your store, it will last for three uh, free trial days. And unless you go and pay, then your store can be can stay, of course, online. But if you didn't, you cannot even publish it if you are just on the free plan. So they give you three days to test things around and see how things was working for you. And yeah, it's totally after that up to you. Of course, as you can see, I'm logged in into my Shopify store and Zoho CRM. So I'll just go here and click on get started. And no, because should just find like a Zoho CRM. I should just go and access right away. So yeah, access Zoho CRM, and I should be good to go. I should be in my Zoho CRM account. Yeah. So first of all, to connect Zoho CRM with Shopify, there's two options. You can use, of course, uh, the direct integration within Shopify, or you can use a third-party uh, integration tool like Zapier, Automate.io. Uh, a lot of other things. So for me, uh, in this case, I'll just use Zapier. And I'll show you that because it's actually a very useful tool that will not just let you seamlessly integrate both together, but it also will let you automate some stuff between the two platforms. So keep that in mind. So of course, we'll start with direct, uh, direct integration. Basically, once you're on Shopify, of course, you'll just go to this list panel, click on apps in here, and basically click on Shopify app store at the bottom right here. Once you click on it, of course, you'll find a new tab open into you here you'll have just to go to search and basically you'll have to look for zuhu crm hit the enter button and basically here you'll have to look of course for zuhu integration or even zuhu sync by crm perks so of course for uh, like you can open both of them so as you can see this zuhu will let you as an example will, will create leads and orders on zuhu crm people are able to select like manual and web go, uh, web hooks like synchronization apple manage the order inventory on zuhu and automatic process all register users automatically sent to zuhu as a lead with the data as you can see so you can see everything that it does so customer sync as example zuhu manually with automatic process uh, with automatic process also as example you can see as example no reviews so it's not really I don't know you can of course install it and then try it out and if you didn't like it of course it might be like uh, hard to find anything else for example the the other alternative so actually first of all it's not free it's paid of course there's a free trial available as you can see so after that uh, all of them has seven days free trial but after that you'll have to pay again no one is rating so maybe no one downloaded this of course you can see here description everything so it's up to you as example again if you want to install so of course you can just go here and click on install once you click on install of course it will be taken to another page we'll have to click simply on install and after that so we just wait for the page and set loads of course in the meantime i'll just go and open zapier and another tab and here of course once the page is loaded basically you'll have to log in into your account or your zuhu account and you should be basically after that good to go so let me just go here to home 
Okay, go to home right here. I don't know why it keeps like uh, getting me into this page. So yeah, as you can see, even I cannot even log in into my Zuhu account. So manage app as an example. So app installed, but can I like uh, connect? Okay, there's nothing I guess to connect to. So as you can see, the app is not working and I don't think it's a good way anyway. So basically, of course, like some apps uh, are very really useful. If you want to like see all the apps, uh, we can check like a Zuhu integration app. It's up to you. It's up to you, as I said. But for me, as I said in this video, I'll focus more on the Zapier. Zapier will actually help you a lot. So keep this in mind. So of course, you'll need to go and create an account. If you don't have one, or log in if you have an account. You can use Google also to create or even log in into an account. Once you logged in, you'll find yourself here. Go to this list panel, click on apps. So first, you'll need to uh, connect both your accounts like Zoo CRM and uh, Shopify. So here, just go and look for Shopify as example. And as you can see, you'll find Shopify here. Click on connect. They will ask you basically for your Shopify domain. Of course, where will you find that? Just go to your Shopify. Go to your settings at the bottom left. And simply go here to where's domains. Here is it. And as they ask for, as example, they asking uh, like before, dot my Shopify.com. So, as example, for me, it's going to be this. So I'll just go here. Let me just copy this and simply enter it right here. Then click on yes, continue to my store. So, once I do so, as an example, they will ask me, of course, to install this app here to access the, the data and everything. And of course, once I, once I install it, as an example, once it's installed, it will be connected right away. As you can see, five seconds ago, I just connected that. The same will be for uh, basically Zuhu CRM. So I'll just go and type here Zuhu CRM. So I have to add uh, like a space. So here's this. Click on connect. Of course, for me, it's already connected. I'm not going to connect that. But for you, as an example, you'll have to enter your URL. For me, it's Zuhu.com. Uh, of course, where you will find that, basically just go to your Zuhu. So for me, as you can see, I have Zuhu.com. For you, if you have Zuhu.com. Something, just enter it out in here. For example, you have a lot of options for me. I have Zuhu.com. Then I'll just go and click on Yes, Continue. Of course, they'll ask me to allow all the access uh, that uh, they want. For example, so full access to read and etc. Just go and accept it. And once you accept it, of course, it will be connected again. Now you can just go to this list panel, click on Create, click on Zaps. In here, of course, you'll be able to automate whatever you want. You can just type here whatever you want. So, as an example, when I receive a new order in Shopify, create a new lead maybe in, in Zoho, and they will create everything for you. Basically, for me, I don't know what you want to automate exactly. For me, I'll just type like connect uh, Shopify, so Shopify to Zoho here, CRM, hit the enter button, and they'll create everything for me. I'll just add the steps right away. As you can see, add all those steps. So, what you need to do is just fix those problems like those uh, Great triangles, for example, here the accounts. I'll just go here and click on sign in, and I'll have just to enter that again. Why not? Just go, of course, because it's not choose like Shopify. Of course, I'll be able to change it if I want to. I'll just go here and click on change, and I'll basically just look for Shopify's example. For some reason, did not oh, because like this Shopify will require premium. I know why they, they choose like the other one. Uh, so, okay, of course, you can just go after that basically and just go back of course to the initial one and of course just go and uh, connect your account and test the trigger if everything is working you'll find the check button in here of course you can change uh, like let me just wait for the check of course you can change like the events instead of you order new something and you'll have to do here with this as well so just go and choose that of course just connect to that account here make sure to create whatever you want or to add whatever you want once you have the check button on both just go and publish it and you'll be able to automate the stuff that you enter here of course you'll be able just on the free plan on zap here to create unlimited zaps that's meaning you can uh, automate a lot of things so you don't have to worry about that so i guess that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye